Berries might be some of my very favorite filler flowers to add into bouquets. I've pulled some photos of some berries and some rounded flowers. These are Crespedia or Billy Balls, and there are a couple of ways to paint these. One is to just paint a basic circle, and the other way is to dot in your paint into a circle shape that gives it that texture that you see in the actual flower. These just have a little stick-like stem, so I'll go ahead and add those here. Next is Hypericum Berry. I'm going to start with the berries. They're pretty round, but the more imperfect they are, the better. I'm not painting every single berry I see here in the photo. While these dry, let's move on to Viburnum Berry. Now these are more oval than rounded, so I'm pressing my brush into the paper to create that rounded oval shape. And then I'm also just painting tiny circles for some of these. I'm painting a bunch of them, and there's not really a rhyme or reason to how many I add in, but I'm trying to keep that overall shape the same as in my photo, how they kind of fan out. Now let's go back and add the details to the Hypericum berry now that they're mostly dry. I'm going to start with the stem, and I'm being careful not to touch my stem to the berry itself. It's okay if I do, but I don't want the green to touch into the red. Each berry has tiny leaves right beneath the berry, so I'll add those in, keeping the edges rounded and the point in the center pointed. And now I'm seeing some leaves right here that I'll add in.
Last, I'll paint those tiny stems at the top of my berry. Whoops, I just touched this berry, so I'll just dry off my brush and then pick up that extra paint with a dry brush. It'll just soak the paint right up. For the main stem of my viburnum berry, I'm using a brown mixed with a little bit of Payne's Gray to make it a dark, cool brown. I'll paint these outer stems first so I know where the center is going to be, and then I can go back in and add the remaining stems. Each berry needs its own stem, but they all don't need to be connected to that main stem. Choose four or five to connect to the main stem, and then the rest can kind of connect to the other ones. Now I'll add in a couple of leaves like I see in my reference photo. 